Hey everybody, this is uh, Mr. Math Blog. So this lesson is uh, uh, section 8.1, so a two-way frequency table. It goes pretty fast. And don't forget, all your lessons can be found at MrMathBlog.com. Let me show you that link real quick. Here's MrMathBlog.com. And we're, uh, this class is Integrated Math 1, so I'll click that little link right there, and it'll take you to all the lessons right here. So they're separated by colors in modules, okay? So I just finished uh, Module 7. This is Module 7 right here. Here. All right, so this is uh, module 8.1. That's what's going to go in right here. Okay. All right, let's get started with this fast lesson. Okay, we're just doing the frequency tables. The other, the next one is a little bit more challenging, but this one goes pretty fast. So data that can be expressed with uh, numbers is called quantitative data. Anything that you can deal with, think if you can average them, then um, and it makes sense, you guys. Then it's called quantitative data. Otherwise, it's called categorical data. So if you cannot average the numbers, remember when you add them up and divide by the number of numbers, then it's called categorical data. So, for example, identify whether the given data is categorical or quantitative. Okay, temperature. All right, so say we did the temperature of seven days the last week. Can we average those temperatures? That would be yes, so that would be... Um, um, uh, quantitative okay how about color can we average colors and make sense not really so this one's categorical height um, uh, height is uh, uh, quantitative so you can take the average height of the students how about numbers on a jersey well they're numbers and it's a, this is kind of deceiving but if you average the numbers on say a basketball team that wouldn't make any sense so actually this one's categorical right here okay so just be careful okay so let's see quantitative categorical quantitative categorical okay so a frequency table uh, just shows how often each item occurs in a set of categorical data so for example Here's um, uh, use the categorical data listed on the left to complete the frequency table. Okay, so we see some ways to get to school. We either uh, take a bus, drive in a car, or walk to school, or car, or bus. So, so what are we missing right here? We're missing uh, walk right there. So let's go ahead and insert that. And then we're going to count up how many buses are in there. So the, when I counted them up, I counted eight. Okay, and I highlighted them in red right here. Okay, so for cars, I'll highlight those in red. So I counted seven cars, and then I counted um, uh, five uh, students that walk to school or teachers or whatever. Okay, usually they put a total down here, but they didn't on this one. So the total would have been, uh, looks like 20 right there. Okay, so, okay, let's go ahead and complete a two-way frequency table. So a two-way frequency table has two categorical variables. So let's complete the, the two-way frequency table here. A high school's uh, administration asked um, 100 randomly selected students in ninth and 10th grade about what fruit they like best. So here's the ninth graders who liked uh, apples, uh, oranges, and bananas. And here's the 10th graders on apples, oranges, and bananas. Okay, and we just got to complete these totals right here. Okay, right here it says a, a high school's administration asked 100 uh, students. So this is going to be 100 down here. This is going to be the grand total right here. All right, so it just depends on how you want to do it. I think I did this first column first. Yep, 19 plus 22 is uh, 41. Then 12 plus uh, 9 is 21. Okay, and then 23 plus 15 is 38. Okay, and then again, we're just going to do the total. So I'm going to go across this row right here. So 19, 12, and 23 gives us 54. The next row is 46, and everything should be 100. Going this way, those add to 100, and adding these three numbers also add to 100 right there. Okay, easy, huh? Let's do it one more, you guys. Okay, this one's a little bit more tricky. Again, you can start wherever you want. We can start by adding these, or we can start by subtracting, because this is the total right here. I kind of forgot what I did right here. Oh, I subtracted first. So 100 minus 54 gives us 46. So that way, these two add up to 100 right here. Now I'll probably go over here and add these guys. So those guys add up to, whoops, I didn't. I added these rows, sorry. I did 46 minus 10. This total right here minus this one gave me this one right here. Okay, see the many ways you can do these right here. So it just depends on what you want to do. And so there you go. All right, if you are in my class, I'm going to sign you that homework. Take care.